What is going on, everybody out there? Uh, Zach here with Davis Custom Painting. Uh, we are at the shop this afternoon, and I am going to replace the prime spray valve on my Titan ED655. Uh, went through and looked for a bunch of videos on how to do this. Didn't come up with anything, so I thought I'd share one out there for you guys, for anyone that uh, ends up with a bad valve and needs to have it replaced. Uh, but here we go. So right here is my Titan ED655 diaphragm pump. Probably one of my hands down favorite pumps in the finishing world. Uh, I really love it because it's super simple to work on and allows for low pressure spraying when you're doing fine finishing and you don't get the inconsistent spray pattern like you do with an airless pump. So as you can see, right here is where the prime valve goes and inside there it's kind of hard to see but there is there it is see that little way back there in the back that is what we refer to as the seat valve um my knob was just acting up and not sitting real tight in there so i ordered a new one um, and here I'm going to flip the camera around and show this to you guys. All right, here is my replacement valve kit. You've got all these components right here. Missing this one. This is the seat valve. As you can see, it's got a thread on it and has an Allen. It is inside of here. And that one in there looks like it's still in good shape, so I'm not gonna worry about replacing it. So this one I'm just gonna set to the side. So what I'm gonna do is we are gonna put all these components inside here, and I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. Super simple. I've actually just got through rebuilding the entire pump. I took this assembly head off and put everything in my ultrasonic cleaner. Got it all cleaned out. Nice, new, and pretty. So super happy about that. This is the one component I lack to get this thing back up in operation. Okay, here we go. So first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take what we're calling the stem valve assembly and you've gotta solid in with the ball peen, thread it in. We're gonna take the solid end, it's kinda hard to see there, but the fat end, and we're gonna stick it inside here and we're just gonna push until it sits in there nice and firm. That's all you want. All right, then we're gonna take our spring. We're gonna slide it inside here. And then we've got our star washer. Star washer goes on top. Get that on there. And we're gonna take our hex nut. And you're gonna stick it through here. And then we're gonna tighten that down. It says you want to get to about 13 to 15 pounds on a torque wrench, but you know, I'm just going to get it hand tight, call it good. All right, then we are going to take what's called our cam. This is our cam. It's a plastic cam that's going to go over the nut here. And if you'll notice, you'll see a, all the way around, you'll see one area that's kind of sticking out. We're going to take that and we're going to face it at six o'clock on a scale. As close to down as you can get it. All right. Then we're going to take our valve itself and we want it to be pointing at close to three as we can. All right. Doesn't have to be perfect. See, it's going to fall until you get it in there. We've got a little nut. Nuts kind of hard to see, but there's the nut. So we're gonna do an eight millimeter. We're gonna put our valve on and we're going to stick our nut on there. Put our eight millimeter in there. And then basically what we wanna do is we just wanna tighten it to where it's just a little bit tight. I don't want to get it too tight, just to where you can kind of feel it start to snug. 
and then maybe another half turn. Then I'm gonna take a small flat wrench, flat end screwdriver, and the end of this needle valve has a flat end in it. We're gonna do a half turn counterclockwise. It's gonna give us a little tightening. Now that's an adjustment knob. If your valve is not really clicking from prime to spray, you can flip that back. And that's it. The prime valve is replaced. So now when you go run some fluid through it, and I always recommend using a paint thinner or lacquer thinner, something that you can pour back into a container, not the actual paint product. Uh, but when you're on your prime valve, you're up vertical, then you should be on your prime, which means your paint should be coming right back through here, priming your gun, getting it all mixed up. Switch it to spray. It'll be coming out the outlet valve right here, which is new. We replaced it a little while back. But that nice click is what you wanna hear. And if you do need to make tiny adjustments, you can do that with a small flathead screwdriver. Clockwise is gonna make it a little looser. Counterclockwise is gonna make it a little tighter. But uh, so, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Nice, easy assembly. Like I said, one of my favorite things about this pump is how simple it is to work on. So if you got any questions, drop them down in the comments and I'll answer them best I can. Thanks guys.